Hello everybody, I'm Professor Amsamani from the Department of Textiles. I'm here to give you a session on technical textiles, a fast growing area across the globe. The word textiles has been a part of mankind since time immortal. Right from the very first intake of oxygen, man has been rolled with fabrics. Moreover, even after the last breath, he has been wrapped with fabric, the only earthly item, and thrown into the flames. Now, let us see the objectives of this session. The main objective is to understand what and how technical textile industry has developed. You will also know how technical textiles has been a part of mankind. You will understand the progress and development with reference to Indian technical textiles. Now, let us look into the definition of technical textiles. Any textile material created chiefly for the specific scientific functions and industrial applications than for its look and beauty is described as technical textiles. It can also be explained as non acetical textile material. In a nutshell, technical textiles is any fiber yarn or fabric produced with a particular purpose and finish for a well-defined end use. For example, a 100% cotton plain weave fabric with antimicrobial finish can be used as a medical textiles, whereas the same 100% cotton fabric with a fragrant finish can be used as a home textile or a cloth textile fabric. Now, let's go into the next section where we will be seeing about the categories of technical textiles. In general, technical textiles is being categorized into four major aspects as mechanical, exchange, utility to day-to-day -day life and protective functions. In mechanical functions, pliability, resistance, stencils and resistance are considered. For exchange functions, substitutes, materials used for separation, heat transfer and absorptions are looked at. Whereas for ecosystems and healthcare products are pooled together to form utility functions. Whereas protective functions include fabrics which protect us against electrical, IR, UV and chemical harshness. This category covered all aspects of textile usage but it was not clearly understood. Therefore, a new set was formulated depending upon the area of usage. This was spelt out as Agrotex, Biltex, Clothtex, Geotex, Hometech, Indotech, Meditech, Mobiletech, Oaktech, Sportstech and Protective Techs. Now, you can see the diagram which shows the different category of technical textiles. We shall see each textile's definition one by one. The first one is agrotextiles. This term describes textile materials used in the area of farming, gardening, fish rearing, landscaping, indoor plant cultivation and forestry. This has been represented by a string of wheat. Now let's look into the examples of agrotex. These are shades, bird safety nets, weed reduction mats, moisture retaining mats, fruit protective covers. We have two pictures of anti-hail and fishing nets shown to you. The next category is Biltech. This includes fibers, yarns, fabrics in the field of structural construction work which are groundwork, topped out, fitting out, plumbing, electrical work and building operation. This is represented by a house symbol with two windows on either sides. Few examples of Biltech are jute fabrics used for curing, yarns used for connecting pipelines, fabrics used for concrete reinforcement, noise prevention fabrics, coated tin fabrics used for sun protection. Here we can see two pictures 
of architectural membrane and a swing. Next category is cloth textiles. This includes fibers, yarns, fabrics used in the field of clothing and accessories for personal grooming. This is being represented by a t-shirt without a collar. The cloth textiles include items like dresses, materials, slippers, handbags which are used for casual wear, formal wear, party with all types of accessories. Here you can see two simple pictures which shows a velcro tape in a shoe and a zip in a jacket. The next category of technical textiles is geotextiles. This is described as textile material used for prevention against natural calamities and accidents. This is used for marine engineering and environmental safety. This is picturized as a triangle with waves indicating river bed. As far as this category is considered, jute, coir and other coarse fibers are being used and non-oven technique is used as the production for geotextiles. We can see two pictures of geogrids and geomembranes as examples. We shall see the next category of technical textiles which is home tech. As the name indicates, this includes fibers, fabrics and yarns used in home decoration. This includes interiors, exteriors of structures and buildings. These fabrics are smooth and helps in carrying out various activities. They are also described as textile components in any part of office, auditorium, malls, theatres, household applications, etc. These include fabrics used on furniture, floor coverings, linens in bedroom, dining room, kitchens and bathroom. Home tech is symbolically indicated by a piece of sofa. The pictures of furniture upholstery, mattresses and pillows show as examples for home tech. Let's see the next category of technical textiles, the Indotech. As the name says, this includes fibers, yarns and fabrics used in the industry. These textile products enhance the manufacturing sector to speed up quality production. It is being represented by three moving gears close to each other. Depending upon the end use, the fibers are modified from natural cotton to high performance fibers like amides. You can see two pictures, the printed circuit board and drive belt as examples of Indotech. Now let's move on to the next category of technical textiles, the Meditech. As the name says, it is textile material which is used in the field of medicine, health and personal care. It is also known as medical textiles. It is represented by a bandage. The products range from soft delicate contact lens, diapers to stiff suture threads and heavy and steady artificial limbs. Here are some pictures of Meditech. The next category is mobile tech. This is also known as automobile textiles. This include Textile components like nylon wheels, safety belts, webbing, airbags, covers of automobiles, upholstery fabrics in vehicles, carpets, felts used for insulation, sunglasses and binders found in different vehicles used in roadways, waterways, airways and spaceways. This is represented by a vehicle hand wheel. Some pictures of Mobile techs are airline upholsteries and nylon tire. The next category is oak tech. This includes textile material used for protection and environment. It is represented by a tree with a semicircle indicating a rainbow above. Generally, natural fibers are used for making oak tech. The next category is protection textiles 
which is commonly known as protect. This includes fibers, yarns and fabrics used for protection, especially in work areas. Generally, it includes clothes and accessories, specially designed for safeguarding the individual from harsh environment like smoke, heat and chemicals. This group of textiles is indicated by a helmet. These fabrics include small blouses, heat protective clothes to bullet and bomb proof jackets. You can see some pictures of flame retardant apparels and bullet proof jackets. Now we are shifting to the next category, Pactic. This includes textile material used for covering any product considering its safe handle and transport. This also helps in increasing the shelf life of the product. Pactic includes heavy to lightweight, rigid to flexible packing textile yarns and fabrics used in the manufacturing of industrial, farming and consumer goods. This is symbolically indicated by a cartoon box. Here you can see pictures of wrapping cloth and jute bags as examples. We shall see the next category of technical textiles, the sport tech. I am sure this will be very interesting. You will see that this includes textile fiber, yarns and fabrics used in all kinds of games and sports. This helps in effective conduct of any game played. Some items are shoes, nets, balls, bat, dresses worn for the comfort movement of the sport player. This is symbolically indicated by a shoe. You can see examples of artificial tuff and sales cloth in sport tech. Students, I hope you understood the different categories of technical textiles. Now we shall move on to the actual growth of technical textiles. This includes different steps. Though technical textiles was started in 19th century, the initial work of technical textiles has been recorded centuries ago. The major growth are marked with the production of natural fiber material. Natural fiber like cotton was always looked upon as clothing fabric. The very first step for growth of technical textiles is production and use of natural fiber materials. Natural fibers like cotton was always looked upon as clothing fabric but after the 20th century it is used in the industry and medical textiles. In many cases it is also mixed with coarse vegetable fibers like jute, flax to produce heavy industrial textiles and sport fabrics. It is also given special finishes for special purposes like medical textiles with antimicrobial finish. The next step is the spinability of hairy fibers like jute with the application of whale oil which acts as a lubricant. This discovery resulted in the production of jute fabrics which in turn enhanced packaging material, upholstery and carpentry. The next discovery is polymers which are used as a substitute for natural fibers like jute sacks. This was reasonably cheap and solved many technical problems faced in the usage of natural fibers like loss of strength or resistance against microbial attack. The next step is use of wool for insulating purposes especially in the field of industries. This application of wool was not economical but it served as the best solution for producing fabrics which inherit flame resistance. As we move on to the next step, it is about silk. I am sure the moment I spell out silk, you are thinking about soft, lustrous party wear. But even years ago, silk was used as a technical fiber. 
the application of silk for surgical sutures was a great leap in the progress of technical textiles and advances in medicine. This discovery has been seen early in 19th century in Japan. Silk being a natural filament, protein fiber could claim to be biodegradable. Due to this innovation, healing ability after any open surgery increased. The next step in the development of technical textiles is the production of viscose rayon, which dated to 1910. But by 1920, its industrial application spread in manufacturing reinforcement material. It was blended with fibers like rubber and saw a new phase of development resulting in increased strength and uniform fabrics. This was used as products in vehicle parts, especially tires, conventional belts, water and oil tubes. The next step is the production of polyamides which had displayed a number of new applications like ropes for mountaineering, parachutes and ship sail material. The fibers were also reinforced for vehicle paths across the world. The next step in the development of technical textiles is the production of polyester in 1950. This was an economical fiber and was used as an alternative for viscose. The applications of polyester was limited to household textiles, but later on it also extended to technical applications. The next step is the introduction of polyphenyl, which is a thin film or a tape fiber used for many applications like rope making, packaging lining and carpet backing. This was also used as reinforced fabrics suited for artificial playgrounds. The next development was high quality non-oven fabrics especially developed based on the quality of polyethylene. The next step was the development of high quality non-oven fabrics especially developed based on the quality of polyethylene like hydrophobic and hydrophobic fabrics with low resistance to temperature. The non-oven technology extended to use viscose for hygiene application. This technology also extended in producing spun bond and blowing fabrics. The commercial use of P amides and M amides for the protection of clothing to withstand high temperature and bulletproof was an impulse in upgradation of technical textiles. The use of high performance fibers also extended for protective garments, filtration fabrics in industries. The next step was production of carbon fibers which was available since 1960 but its market increased only in the 20th century with increase in arrow and space textiles. Even in war front as reinforced fuel tank and agro built textiles this was being used. These carbon fibers help in earthquake zone free areas. The next step was introduction of glass and ceramic fibers. They became very popular because of their strength, lightweight but withstand high temperature. These were used as substitute for metal parts in vehicles. Later on, in this century, the discovery of nanoparticles created a revolutionary change in all categories of technical textiles. The advent of electrospinning, ultra finishing, micro encapsulation and nano finishing plasma treatment had helped in the development of novel functional materials like temperature and color transforming material, self cleaning fabrics 
and drug releasing bandages. So far, we have seen the growth and development involved in the production of technical textiles. Now, we shall see about the different fibers used in the making of technical textiles. Now, we will read about the different types of fibers used in the manufacturing of technical textiles. This includes metallic fibers like steel, gold, silver, glass and ceramic. Steel is used for making thick wires along with magnesium, silicon, potassium, sulfur and carbon. They are used for carpets and electrical items. Gold and silver, you know, have been used as fabrics in party wares, but they are also made into thin sheets for antimicrobial finishes. Glass is a fine fiber which resembles silk. It is used for preparing technical textiles where good thermal conductivity is required. Ceramic fiber is used as a substitute for asbestos. It can produce fabrics which are used for low temperatures and it has high insulating properties. The next category of fibers used for production of technical textiles is natural fibers. This includes bamboo, coir, wool, cotton, jute, hemp, linen and silk. All these fibers are modified based upon their end uses. The next category is regenerated fibers. This includes rayon and lyocell. Synthetic polymers are the next categories. In this polyester, nylon, kelver, spantec are being used. These fibers are modified based upon the end uses. The main finishes which are given are nano finishes. Now we shall see the next step in this unit. This is the processes used in the production of technical textiles. Depending upon each type of fiber, the processes change. For metals, braiding technique is followed. In case of regenerated fibers, wet laying, thermal bonding, chemical bonding, needle punching, spun laying and stitch bonding is used. Weaving and knitting are two major sectors which are used for the production of technical textiles. Now we shall see the different technical products. This includes ropes, nets, threads, technical fabrics and wadding. Now let us see the status of technical textiles in India. There has been a positive growth rate with reference to technical textiles in India. The market size has increased from approximately 70,000 crores in 2012-13 to 1 lakh crores in 2014-15. This has also been expected to increase to approximately 1 lakh 58 crores in 2016. The Indian government has developed many sectors and established centers of excellence like the South Indian Textile Research Association, Coimbatore for Meditech, the Synthetic and Art Silk Mill Research Association, Bombay for Agritech, Bombay Textile Research Association, Bombay for Geotech, North Indian Textile Research Association for Protect Tech, the Society of Textiles and Engineering Institute, Kanpur for non ovens PhD College of Technology. To summarize, technical textiles plays a significant role in every aspect of human life. Textiles are human soulmates. By serving 
our basic needs like clothing to life saving implants as protective textiles during war and work make our travel ease and safety protects environment reinforces and strengthens our buildings and constructions make sporty life easy and comfortable they provide us safety packages for food and help us to have a safe and sound house they also strengthen the industrial textiles for effective protection